The Maelstrom Grain Table Synthesizer has two filters. You'll see filter A and filter B, each with mode, resonance, and frequency controls. And it's useful to put this inside of a combinator so that you can take a single rotary or single button and assign it so that you have simultaneous control over both filters. And this is particularly useful in cases when the Maelstrom patch is stereo, like this Nordalog patch. I'm going to take this Maelstrom and wrap it in a combinator using the combine feature. I'm going to show the programmer. Select the Maelstrom 1 in the device list. We'll take rotary 1 and we'll scroll down and find the filter frequencies. Filter A frequency. We'll take the second modulation routing, reassign the source to rotary 1, and we'll assign that to filter B frequency. So now rotary 1 is controlling both cutoff frequencies for filter A and filter B. And we'll rename that filter frequency. Now I'm going to do the same with rotary 2 and assign that to the resonance for both filter A and filter B. In the Combinator Programmer, I'll have to set two rotary 2 sources, and then set the targets to filter B resonance, and the other one to filter A resonance. And when I make an adjustment to the rotary, you'll see both resonance controls being changed. Change this to resonance. Now I can take rotary 3 and assign that to filter modes. Rename the rotary to mode. And now when I adjust the rotary, you'll see it switch from low pass to band pass to comb filters to uh, amplitude modulation. So now that I've got my Maelstrom configured in this combinator, I'm going to demonstrate another way of using a matrix pattern sequencer to develop pattern-based sound patches. So in the combinator, hold down the shift key and I'm going to create my matrix pattern sequencer. So in this patch, I'm going to use the matrix gate events to trigger the filter envelope directly to create a rhythmic pattern when the sound is played. I'm going to tab to the back. I'm going to connect the gate CV to the filter envelope gate input. Then we can go back to the front and I'm going to adjust the filter envelope parameters. Disable the filter invert, increase the amount, and then let's change the global filter cutoff frequency since this filter envelope is going to be modulating the frequency. And then I'm going to run the pattern devices. Now you can see the matrix pattern sequencer is running. Each of those gate impulses is triggering the filter envelope. Nothing's being heard yet because I'm not playing any notes into the combinator patch. So when I play a chord on the keyboard, you're going to hear the gated envelope patterns. And of course, you can program any pattern you like. I'll go through here and program another pattern in. Tie that one, we'll tie that one. And then I'll play that chord in again. So now I want to assign rotary four to the filter envelope amount. Envelope amount. So now I have the four combi rotaries mapped to the filter controls of this Maelstrom based pattern patch.